seventh grade students and families. Well, we've arrived at the last full month of this school year. May is such an exciting month with so many things to look forward to, including warmer weather, yearbook distribution, and various end of year activities. Personally, I am so excited to finish this once-in-a-lifetime school year with the amazing students that I have. In science this week, we are continuing to talk about the living things around us. By now, we have discussed what it means for something to be alive, biotic and abiotic factors in an environment, and how organisms can interact with one another in an ecosystem. This week, we are building on those topics by examining how energy and matter flow through an ecosystem. Students will learn about different energy roles that an organism can fill, including producers and consumers, how matter is cycled back into the environment by decomposers, and why there are so many more zebras on the African plains than there are lions. Something I'm really excited for is to give students the opportunity to see some of these topics in action by watching a nature documentary titled Our Planet. Because I cannot take students on a field trip to the deserts of Africa or the coral reefs off the coast of Australia, this docu-series is the next best thing. The nature documentary, produced by Netflix and narrated by David Attenborough, will give students the chance to observe some of these ecological topics firsthand. It promises to be an exciting week. It's another regular schedule week, too, with students seeing all of their teachers on Monday, odd periods on Tuesday and Thursday, and even periods on Wednesday and Friday. Thank you for taking the time to watch this weekly preview video, and I hope that it was helpful for you. As always, please send me a message if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I hope that you have a great first week of May, remember to wear a mask, and to always think like a scientist.